Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If it's your first time here, welcome. My name's Carolina. I wanted to quickly introduce myself before we jump into today's tutorial. I have a message that the Lord has asked me to share with you guys. I'm a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Our Day Saints, and I've shared this message twice at church. Today, the Lord has brought it to my attention that I should share with this with you guys before I jump into my tutorial, so I'm just gonna do that really quickly. I have here in my hands a $100 bill. And we all, this is a US, United States of America, $100 bill. If you've never seen one, this is one right here. And it has like little, if you can't, I don't think you can see it, but like if I, if I hold this up to the light, you can see like the little face in here and this is authentic. Okay, $100. It's still $100. Who wants it? All right. Who wants it? Now, let's say I took this, this $100 bill, and I put it in the, in the toilet. I just dunked it in the toilet. Would you still want it? How about if I put this in the mud and I just stomped on it? Would you, would you, watching, who, the person watching this, would you still want it? Covered with water from the toilet, with feces maybe, with mud, with just filthy. Would you still want it if this was covered in filth? Would you still want it? I want you to take like a quick moment, like just to really think about it. Would you still want it? Okay. The Lord has let me know that no matter what you've been through, you're still valuable to him. He sees you as a valuable human being and the spirit and the body make the soul and the soul is priceless to the Lord so much that he gave his life for for every soul on earth that has lived that currently lives and that will live and I just want you guys to know if you're feeling down no matter how busted how broken how tore up you may be the Lord Jesus Christ wants you and he loves you and he is willing to help you wherever you need help. And I want to share my testimony with you guys that this is true, that Jesus Christ lives. And I'm so very grateful for this knowledge and to be able to share this example with you guys. And just know that that's how the Lord sees you. He sees you as priceless. I just have this bill up just because that's the, the largest bill I have on, on me. But if I had a larger bill, trust me, that's how the Lord sees you and you are priceless to him. And um, yeah, I just wish you guys a happy Thanksgiving. And if it's not happy, just know that I'm praying for you. And if you need prayers, please let me know. I will be, gra be glad to pray for you guys. And please enjoy today's video. And yeah, I'm very happy. And I just hope you guys are good. And I hope you guys are safe and the Lord is working. And I'm just so very grateful for that knowledge and to be able to be here and share everything with you guys. Hello, everyone that's new. My name's Carolina, if I didn't mention that. Um, but I haven't been on here in about a couple weeks. And when, because at first, like it's, I understand why your favorite YouTubers do not get back to you. <laughs> I understand why, because if you have people in the comments, like some people be way too much. And I'm be like, I have no idea who you are. <laughs> I gotta, like, I can't be sitting here reading these comments. <laughs> I gotta protect me, feel me? And, um, uh, yeah, like, they try to talk to me in private, and, um, they sent me a message, like, in my comments, like, in my, like, under my studio. They're like, hey, we want to talk to you privately about some of the comments that are under the Dylan video. And I was like, First of all, if they have a problem with anything that you guys say or anyone says on YouTube, they have to go after those accounts per, like individually. And I know that they, they will do that. Like if you say anything in regards to the alphabet community, anything negatively, they will come after you. Like like YouTube themselves, they will come after you. So I know that for a fact. So I don't even like, uh, that's why I'm like, look, if you guys have something that like, if you guys have a problem with like the comments they can they have all the power to disable those comments like and if they have a problem with the video like they were trying to talk to me privately and like i just dismissed the comp like the 
notification because I'm like, I didn't do anything wrong. And if you have a problem with the comments, go, go, you need to go let those people know that they offended your whatever that they offended. Because I feel like, I don't know. I'm just trying to like do what the Lord has asked me to do. I'm going to use corrector. I'm going to take off my glasses for this. Um, I can't see. <laughs> this one I really do enjoy. This is a Smashbox Look Less Tired corrector. It's brand new. I gave the old one to my mom because she she wants she wants like uh an, like another one, but I was like, you can have this one. <laughs> well, I bust out my new one. And then I'll just like order her another one later on. I'm just gonna use my finger to tap this out. I'm just going in with moisturizer. This is one of my favorite moisturizers from Marc Jacobs. Going in with primer from Tatcha. This is the liquid canvas. I got this in a kit at TJ Maxx. Um, so I just wanted, wanted to like mention what I went in with. Um, but yeah, I wanted to mention this movie that I came across. It's called The Pilgrim's Progress. I love this movie. I love the visuals. I love the storyline. I it's honestly like I was watch I've watched the movie like almost every single day and like I've been in my scriptures and I'm just like because I, I feel it like I feel like the warfare has been like it was okay and then like I feel like it's starting to pick up again so I'm like okay I have to like I'm like okay what am I doing and then I'm like oh great right, I'm going for my my temple recommend like I have another like it's about expire so I have to go again for my interview and like if I mess up in between them like I have to wait and I'm like oh no so I'm just just trying to do my thing I am going to mix two foundations I'm going to mix in the Estee Lauder foundation in the shade wheat and then I'm also going to be using Cover FX Power Play Foundation in G plus 40. I have to like squint to see. Trying to do this without <laughs> glasses is really hard. <laughs> I'm trying my best. <laughs> I'm going to have to like go back in and see what, where I missed. <laughs> I'm just trying to like make sure I cover all of my face. And I, I'm assuming I wouldn't miss it if I cover all of my face. But yeah, that movie was amazing. And it has a lot of... Um, symbolism that i personally needed and i sent it to like a bunch of friends and family and i'm like you need to watch this and i'm letting you guys know about it because it's a really good movie and i'm very grateful for technology and to be able to come across this movie it helped me out so much i actually realized where i was in my journey like in that movie i'm like where am i and i realized i have my armor i realized i had like all these things and i was like oh, i've already gone that i've already done that i've already done that <laughs> and i realized i'm at vanity fair so if you guys watch the movie i will link it down below like i said um but if you watch the movie you'll understand what i mean by that i'm at vanity fair and if i could save one of you guys i will do it like i understand why i'm meant to go through this i'm meant to do youtube and i'm also like let you guys know okay so really quickly uh you know i like for those who like keep up i had a dream back in I think it was like February, March, I fasted for like the LGBT community and like a friend of mine that like is a part of that and everyone that's um, in that community. And uh, the Lord has showed me a dream. And that dream was really uh, amazing. And I shared it with you guys. And there was a story that I came across on YouTube that day. It was like on the news. And I was like, no, I got so excited. I was like, no way. I mean, I, I mean, like, I understand, but I'm just like, yes, like, I just, I could, I could, I was just so happy. Like, I felt like, you know, like when the Super Bowl, like they hit a goal, like I was like, oh, not a goal. <laughs> what am I saying? Well, soccer isn't, don't judge me. Okay. Um, American football, it's like a home run. And then soccer is a goal. And I feel like it's a touchdown. It's a goal. Like we, we got one. And um, I don't know if you guys remember. I'm going to put my glasses on. I can't see. Uh, I don't know if you guys remember this one guy. I know I know you guys have to remember because when I, I was like, this guy, <laughs> he believed like he like he had surgery. It was like a I think a Caucasian man. He got a uh, surgery uh, to get to become Asian. Like he wanted to like change his race. I know you guys know what I'm talking about. But that guy, he was I will, I will have to link his um the interview down below but you guys he repented like he said that he was walking by a church and um he like sat at the back and he like listened to what they were saying and then he was like he went to go talk to like one of the pastors afterwards and they told him about Jesus and then he was like you know something that broke my heart he, and I'm very grateful that like 
I heard his side of the story because like he was like I felt like I was the leopard and I was like oh my heart like I don't know just someone thinking that they're a leopard and that like they're an outcast and no one wants them like trust me when I say this God loves you and he wants you on his side and that's why he sent Jesus Christ to pay for all of us and this uh gentleman he was like he talked about gender dysphoria he talked about all that and like he realized like he was talking about his identity and i was like that's what i was trying to tell dylan and all of you like all of you are children of god and if you call upon him like i asked god we are in november i asked god back in october because i was going through it and i was like where are you like i asked him flat out i was like where are you and he showed up and i was like not like physically, but like he showed up like in his own way. And I was like, there you are. I've been waiting for you. Cause like, you know, it feels kind of kind of tough. Right? Like, like life in, in general and like going through Vanity Fair and letting you guys know like, hey, cause I'm gonna be honest with you. I have been put to the ringer for you guys to like share messages and I've always said if I could save one person, if I could save one baby, if I could save one this, one that, then it would be all worth it. And when I was watching that um m that movie, spoiler, like one person makes it out out of Vanity Fair, and one other person like comes along with, and I was like, you know what? That's that's the message. Like, if I have to suffer, and like, okay, really quickly, I have to give this part up, but there's like. There's two people that go through Vanity Fair and one is called Faithful. And I was telling my kids, I was like giving everybody a name. I'm like, you're this person, you're this person. And I was like, and I'm Faithful. <laughs> and my my little son, he was like, um, I was, he's like, I gave him like a, like a role. Like I, I think I was like, you're hopeful. He's like, I don't want to be hopeful. He's like, I'm, I'm baby Faithful. And I was like, that is so cute. Like, his faith is in God is so cute. Going in with G plus medium two from Cover FX. I got this for six dollars at Marshalls, TJ Maxx. One of the two. I can't remember. I found it there. I'm just gonna go in with a darker shade, and then I'm gonna go in with a lighter shade. I did pick this up for six dollars, and these usually run for like thirty. So I bought two, and I was like, you can't beat that. And I really love these, um, like the coverage, and I love the application. Like I love the applicator. It's huge. This one is in P light too. I do like to mix mine and I do like to put a little bit right here. And like, again, I can't see, so I don't, I'm just going with what I'm feeling, like how much product I'm putting down. I, I'm also gonna go in with medium seven from Charlotte Tilbury. This one I did pick up at Sephora, but the other ones I did pick up uh, for in it, like for cheap at TJ Maxx Marshall. I hope they come out with more products. I'm gonna use this brush. I love this brush. This is a True Beauty blush. I got this a couple of years ago, maybe like four or five years ago. I would say five years ago at TJ Maxx, at my local TJ Maxx. And I and I like this one just because it the way it blends out, I just have to like tap it out and it strokes. Mineralized Skin Finish from MAC in the shade Medium Deep is one of my favorites for a light bronze. I'm just gonna deepen up the crease with these colors, buffing out. For blush today, I am going in with Rosy Glow from Dior. This is the Backstage Collection. I really like their packaging and I love the, the plastic. I really, really do enjoy it. I'm just going to go in with a brush right here. I'm just going to apply it right here. Since I'm going to be eating tonight, I don't want my lipstick to come off. I am going to go in with the Maybelline New York 65 Seductress. I love this lip combo, especially for brides. Like... This, this color combo is nice. I like it a lot. And I did line my lips a little bit and I did dab off like the excess. 